Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Isaac Ice Cold Frost. A near perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and then out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Habib Nurmagomedov, he's the guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Iceman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so about your corners, do not fight. fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. You got to whip his hip into that kick. 
Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off. Oh, so the one time here. All right, the fighters are fighting out of the clinch here. And now we go to the ground. Beautiful trip there to get the takedown. Sweep the leg, Johnny! Oh, John. One guy's always paying attention. The other guy's going, take a point. Take a point like they did to your boy, Johnny, and you lose the All-Valley Championship for disrespecting a guy like that with that speed. All right, so an early takedown is true. So nice execution there, and perhaps an opportunity to get that patented ground and pound going from here. This is where he's the best. He's one of the best ground and pound fighters we've seen in the UFC. He's gotten there early. Let's see if he can take full advantage of Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Frost gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And they separate. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. A nice kick there by Nurmago Meta. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Frost. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Back and forth we go! Let's keep going. Lock that kick to the body. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Frost. Nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Nurmagomedov. Hook to the head there by Frost. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Checks the leg kick. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Right hand landed. Oh, vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by Nurmagomedov. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the throw. He's doing a double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming. You can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. 
All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Big kick lands. Effective jab there by Frost. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, big elbow. Beautiful strike. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Knee to the body. Massive head kick. Oh, big left hook there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. As Frost gets hit with a kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Goes to the body there. Head kick lands. So 67 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And the accuracy rate 36% for him against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Chalky in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Well, we talked about that reach advantage. You see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. And there comes the separation now. Just missed with the left there. That punch, no good. Let's get that takedown and win the round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Frost kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Frost. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ross lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 
was lightning fast that right hand. She gets to a spot in the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Well, a lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets what? underway. His strong what? leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Straight right, he misses. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, a huge block there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Straight to the body there by Nermago Meta. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice strike landed there by Nermago Meta. Russ got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Landed that left hook. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to go. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Misses with the left hook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice leg kick land. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice. Immediately gets the underhook. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switching up for the big knee to the head. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice punch there by Frost. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Visibly limping here. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Straight right hand now, just misses. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Leg oh, kick. nice punch there by Frost. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big head kick. 
unable to connect there. Nice shot to the body there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, and he caught the kick. Final seconds of round three. Right hand punch with the clinch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready. round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kicks, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Very nice leg kick there by Frost Joe. Well missed on that one. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Such a fast leg kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Marco Medov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Way to hide that leg kick. Frost gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. There's no give on that leg kick. He can't even, he can barely stand. Right on the button. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. That was a thudding leg kick. Isaac Frost gets caught with that punch. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Frost. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also Man, staying active. He has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a, a great double leg. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Frost. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Big kick. Real quick leg kick. Beautiful punch. Nice body shot. Oh, collar tie. Ross gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. 
Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Nice straight right lance. Oh, oh big left. One minute to go. Caught the kick. And they separate. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice punch land over the top. There's no tell on that leg kick. Russ's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, strong punch there by Frost. Overhand is good. Another punch to the head. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Frost Joe. Landed with the elbow there. Good punch, Land. Wow, actually got the takedown. Argo Medoff gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound companies. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. I mean, how many can he take? Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Mago Medov's going for the sub here. Gotta be careful, Armbar. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's gotta recognize. And this might just be a matter of time.
Evans there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 38 seconds of round number five. For the winner by submission, Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again.